Today on BRS TV, Fresh Air versus PH Media. Hi, I'm Ryan, your host of the BRS TV 52 FAQ, where each week we answer some of your most common questions. This week we're answering Google really sucks question, would running a hose outside to fresh air and a CO2 scrubber have the same effect? I already have the hose, but still have a low pH. For those of you that run low pHs around 7.8 and have the desire to raise it to increase calcification and growth, they're pretty limited options, starting with running a decent sized refugium where macroalgae consumes the excess CO2 in the tank and raises the pH. The only two chemical options largely accepted by the reefing community is dosing soda ash based two part or kelk washer drip, most often mixed in an auto top off container. However, that's often not enough to raise it up to that desirable 8.2 to 8.3 range where the increased calcification goal is. You can chase other chemical-based solutions like Super Duper pH Buffer Deluxe, but it's really a horrible idea because it's only a temporary solution will almost certainly throw your alkalinity all out of whack in relation to the calcium levels. End of the day, the cause of low pH is almost always tied to high levels of carbon dioxide in your home from your family and pets exhaling it into the air. Because of that, simply opening a window is almost always a really solid temporary solution. In today's case, our fat question relates to a reefer's more permanent solution of running an airline from the outside of the home into the skimmer so it draws fresh air from the outdoors. There's a tremendous amount of gas exchange happening inside most skimmers, so this is an excellent way to gas off some of the excess CO2 in the tank and raise the pH in a more sustainable or permanent manner. So today's question is asking if that approach is different than running CO2 scrubber media on your skimmer, which uses the ambient air in your home but scrubs all the CO2 out of it before it enters the skimmer. This achieves a similar goal, but I have to say if you can draw air from the outdoors and it solves your problem, running a hose outside is a hundred times better because you don't need to buy a CO2 reactor or replace the media. However, running a hose the outdoors is not working for this reefer. The first thing I do is make sure my pH probe is calibrated correctly because that costs about two bucks and takes about five minutes to do. And in most cases where the pH isn't matching expectations, it's very frequently because the pH probe is out of calibration or needs to be replaced. Beyond that, some of the reasons that running a line outdoors might not be helping is because the skimmer is small and doesn't have as much gas exchange as others. You might also have a family of 10 with a dozen pets in a tightly sealed home where gas exchange of really high CO2 is out competing with the skimmer with the gas exchange on the surface of the tank. Another common reason is the skimmer is likely pretty far from where you're drying outside air. If you're drying air 10 feet to the skimmer, it's likely pulling a tiny fraction of the air it was without that long tubing run, which will reduce the effect on the pH for sure. So if drawing air from the outdoors isn't working for you or running a tubing line and drilling a hole in your home just isn't a realistic option, running a CO2 media scrubber prior to the skimmer right at the tank is probably a better option. Essentially, the CO2 scrubber media is just specially treated calcium hydroxide or Kelkwasser pellets, which reacts with the CO2 and turns the calcium hydroxide into calcium carbonate. Some of you that have watched our videos on Kelkwasser might notice the similarities between that and some of the reactions dosing a saturated Kelkwasser solution to the tank has. Using a media like this will also reduce the CO2 even further than outdoor levels and likely be more effective. That said, you have to purchase and replace the media. How often that is is largely dependent on how high the CO2 levels are in your home and how much air your skimmer draws. On the BRS 160, I decided to add large jumbo canisters so I don't have to change it but every few months. And I also set it up to only draw air if the pH is below 8.2 to further extend the media's useful life. This is a bit anecdotal, but adding this and increasing the pH immediately increased the calcium and alkalinity consumption pretty drastically. And when the media is depleted, the calcium and alkalinity consumption of the tank drops immediately with the pH as well. We don't know for sure that means the corals are growing faster or if that's just precipitation, but we don't see any signs of increased precipitation and the increased growth with increased pH levels also matches basically every single major sunny done on ocean acidification as well. So that wraps up today's 52 FAQ. If you want to take part of a larger conversation on this topic or have questions about how we implement the CO2 scrubber media on our tanks, check out our Reef to Reef thread, which has a link pinned down below. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. See you next week with another BRS TV 52 FAQ.